Hello subscribers and other friends. My neighbour's UPVC windows were not closing properly. So I decided, yes, that's a DIY job. I can sort that out. Anyway, things didn't quite go according to plan. The most likely reason for this hinge to fail is the plastic slider brakes. Now, <clears throat> that bit there, that's the slider hole and that uh, little stay fits into the hole there and it's a friction system so as you open and close the window it puts pressure on on this and the, that's what breaks in the end it's just only made of plastic stuff it probably suffers from being very cold at times and uh, that breaks so that's what we're going to do today. We are going to replace these bits, both sides obviously, and see if we get this window working properly. Right, these friction hinges come in two thicknesses, 13 and 17. Uh, so it's not easy to measure the window in position, but of course, if you've taken it out, you don't want to leave the window gaping open while you go down to the hardware shed. So all you can do is try and measure it. Getting the uh, tape measure in there is not easy, so I've reverted to the envelope method, marked it up at 13. So the best I can do is just place that in there, and that indicates to me that this is approximate, as, as close as you're going to get to 13. So we'll see in a minute when we take the window out. Um, these Miele hinges do come with packers, so you can pack them out from 13 to 17. Right, we're going to do the screws. <laughs> Three screws on each side, holding this, uh, this uh, hinge in position. So, let's... Uh, being careful to save the uh, stainless steel screws because you're going to need those again in a minute. I'll leave the top one. Okay, that one's down on the carpet luckily, not in the flower bed. I got you. Right. I'll do this side first. There she goes. Now, <clears throat> this window, it can get very heavy very quickly. So take the weight of it before you undo your last screw. What I don't want to do is let the screw drop into the garden if I can help it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's quite a bit of weight, even though it's a small window. <clears throat> We've just got to do it, wrestle it out of the, the grooves that it's in. And there you have your window. Let's bring that indoors carefully. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. I've got the drill between my knees. So you can get these hinges from Screwfix. Uh, 311. This is called Top Hung. It's quite confusing really because uh, the, the hinges go to the side of the window but it's known as top hung. Now this stems from the olden days when uh, windows were actually wooden and they were hinged and they would be hinged at the top so you would actually call that top hung. Uh, I can't think of a different way to describe it so hinges at the sides are known as top hung and hinges at the top and bottom of your window are known as side hung. 
Right, these uh, Miele hinges, or Miele, you might like to call them, they're clearly marked left with an arrow. So that this one opens this way. So the snout goes back inside the metal, the, the plastic housing in that way. Perfectly straightforward. Now, if you if you get confused, they will actually open this way. But that's wrong, because when you try to close the thing back up, the snout is going to foul on this plastic stuff. So that won't work, and, you, and you, it'll be a disaster. So we just ease that back into there with a bit of force. So get that right, guys, and then you're off to a flying start. So use, look at the arrow. Look at the marking for left, and they open that way. Right, here's the hinge that we're taking off. It's fixed in three places, and there's three holes here. They're not going to line up precisely. The top one will. The bottom one's a bit short, but uh, so we're going to quickly undo these. Right, so uh, there is the hinge off, and we're going to put our fresh hinge back on there, and hopefully we'll be able to use some of the screw holes. So there's your two hinges. Right, so there's the old hinge come off, there's the fresh hinge we're going to fit, and yes, it's true, just to make things a little bit more interesting, this one turns out to be a 17 millimeter stack. So um, we're going to have to just pad out a new hinge using these uh, little packing pieces. Right, so we're going to st stack these little plastic gizmos on here, little packers on each of the screw holes. So we are making that thicker. So when that's closed, the measurement of this thing will then be about 17 millimeters. Right, so let's just fit this back onto here. Job done. Let's tighten this one up a little bit. Yeah. Now there's another hole in the middle here which I haven't um, drilled yet. I'm going to leave that until we get the window in. It's make sure it's in its right place. Right guys, now comes this slightly interesting bit where we offer the window back up into its hole and screw it in place while balancing on the windowsill. So, we don't do rehearsals here, so uh, if it goes wrong, well, it'll be a bit of a laugh, won't it? <laughs> Can't help thinking I was right in the first place, where it's 12 mil, uh, 13 mil, not 17. Because that's never going to go in there. <laughs> Okay, guys. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about, isn't it? So we're going to have that out and just change those, uh, take those um, padding pieces out, those shims, and uh, hopefully it'll be the right size then. Okay, here we go again, guys. Took about two minutes, admittedly. <laughs> Yeah. 
Now, if I could just reach my uh, drill, uh, which two screws in and there we are and if all goes to plan the window should close nicely and lock beautiful tight fit all the way round well there we are we got there in the end, uh, much made much harder work of it than I had expected, to be honest. Um, one thing you could probably do differently is sort of dry fit this uh, new hinge into its position. It's always going to have to fit tight up there. Drill out any holes that don't uh, line up so that you're all set and ready to go. You could probably even put the bottom screw in first when you're actually trying to fit the whole thing into the hole might be a little bit less swearing in that case also a long handled screwdriver to get in here would work well if you in case you can't reach your power driver and then that would be a little bit less swearing as well anyway we got there in the end and uh, hopefully Watching my mistakes will help you avoid doing exactly the same thing. I hope you found that interesting, guys. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, that'd be good. Thank you. Be able to see what else we get up to in the DIY world. Thanks for watching.